do you blame yourself? What do you think? It's quite common for horses who have gone through your level of trauma to feel a sort of uh, guilt. Asha, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Do you think it would have been different if you were there? Have you been practicing the coping methods we spoke about last week for when you have your episodes? Yes. The amount of stress you've endured right now with all the foals going missing. This can cause past events such as the one you've went through to catalyze into a fester. Many horses would be rendered helpless, but the fact that you're still carrying on for every pony and, and for Turtle, everything you've worked on has been helping you push past the wall you hit last time. <laughs> but it will be hard for you to ever work through this if you don't let go of the past, Asher. So I have to ask you, do you believe she would still be alive if you stayed? <laughs> Asher, I need you to answer if you can. Yes, yes, I believe that if I stayed, she'd still be alive. That if I, if I, if I stayed, she'd still be alive. Does that make you happy? That if that if I stayed, if I, if I stayed, then none of this would have happened. That I wouldn't have to be here. That I wouldn't be suffering on my own right now. That I wouldn't, that I wouldn't have hurt anybody. That I wouldn't be the monster I am. Not a day goes by since that I don't look in the mirror every morning and hate the stallion looking back at me. How am I supposed to escape the past that has followed me every path I've taken? You go on and on about how I can face it, but I can't, I can't go on. <clears throat> That's my cue. I'll be back for our usual time next week. I know it might not feel like it, but you have improved so much since when we first started. You're strong, Asher. I know you'll be able to get through this. Thank you, Doctor. I know you're at the city hall meeting tonight, but please do not overexert yourself. I'll have the pharmacy send a prescription for you to try. Asher, call me if anything happens, okay? You know I will fit in an emergency visit for you. Oh, yes, I know. You remind me every time. Good. It's my job. <laughs> Take care, old pal. Asher, sir. We need to get going so we can stay on schedule for the day. Yes. <clears throat> right away. Kiddos, as we all know, today we're going to be presenting our Horses of History projects that we've been working on this semester. Huh. 
It seems as though some of our friends have chosen not to join us today. Every pony will be allotted five minutes for the presentation. You may use less time if you need, but please don't go over as I'd like to fit them all in this class period so we can have a fun day next week. Perfect bean, you'll be first then. What? Well, some pony has to start us off, and if you want to have a fun day next week, then we can't waste any time, can we? Uh, fine. Guess we'll just get the best one out of the way. Has Shadow responded to your text yet? Mm, not yet, I... <coughs> For my Horses of History project, I chose the lesser known horse of Eden and she was the goddess of floral life. Nice of you both to finally join us. Sorry, Mr. Fetzer, we... It's all right, Shadow, but Bean's trying to resent. Please, continue, Bean. Ugh, I don't even remember where I left off. So I'll just start over. <laughs> For my Horses of History project, I chose the lesser known horse of Eden Anthos. She was the goddess of floral life, and is the reason we have so many. Shadow and Turtle, please report to the front office immediately. <sighs> Sorry, Bean. Sorry, Mr. Fett. I I'm not sure what's going on. It's all right, Shadow. Bean. Would you please start over again? Oh, here we go again. For my Horses of History project, I chose the lesser known horse of Eden, Anthos. Shadow, you're okay. Mom, I thought you had to work this morning. When your father told me you ran off last night, I came home immediately. He's not my father. Shadow, we've been worried sick. We? Oui. Please don't cop an attitude right now with me. You know better than to talk back to your mother, boy. I was under the impression that Shadow had permission from his parents to spend the night at our house last night, Turtle. Daddy, I... I'm sure you are under the same impression, my Turtle Dove. Next time, I'll be sure to inform his parents as a precaution. I'm glad you both caught me before I left. You will be grounded for the rest of the year, boy. Do I make myself clear? The punishment waiting for you when you get home from school is well deserved after this little stunt. Turtle Dove, I'm actually quite busy this afternoon with the City Hall meeting and I would hate for you to be at home all alone. Uh, why don't you have Shadow over? I'm sure his parents wouldn't mind since they're gonna know where he's at this time. Actually, Shadow's just been grounded and won't be allowed to spend time with any of his friends. <laughs> he's just a cult. I'm sure when you were a cult you forgot to tell your parents things. I know I did countless times. It's all a part of growing up and learning. I'm sure that'll be fine. As long as he's returned home before curfew. Sadly, I won't be returning home until much too late. And with the current situation, I would hate Fanny Falls to be walking on their own. Then I'll come pick him up from your house. I'm sorry, but uh, it's just not possible right now. Uh, with the gate guards not allowing unverified guests into the neighborhood, per my request. Then tell them I'm coming. It's, uh, it's just much too late for a background check to be completed for you to be verified. If the neighborhood's so safe, why can't Turtle stay alone? I'm sure you wouldn't want to take any chances with your beloved foal, even in a safe neighborhood such as the one I live in. All right, so it's settled. Shadow, if you'd please accompany Turtle home for the night, I would greatly appreciate it. I must get going. I'm already behind schedule with this whole encounter. Uh, you two better get back to class. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, sir. Look here, pretty boy. If you embarrass me like that again, oh, you'll what exactly? A stepdad who hits his wife's foals doesn't hold much prestige in this city. <gasps> so he's spreading lies now. 
Oh, please. When he runs to my house bleeding after what you've done to him. I suppose you don't fully understand who you're dealing with. Now, if you'll excuse me. How come you both got called to the office this morning? We were both tardy, so we just had to go to the front to check in since Mr. Fett had already taken attendance. Uh, how would they have known that you were here? Shadow, I was thinking that while we're hanging out tonight, we should probably work on our science fair project, right? Yeah, yeah, probably best to get a head start on that. We were supposed to have a game night. Sorry, guys, I already agreed with Turtle this morning that I'd go to her house tonight and with the curfew, it's kind of hard to hop from house to house right now like I normally do. We're so close to completing the campaign that we've been on for the past two years, though. Turtle, you could always come play with us again. <laughs> like, like how we used to? Yeah, before she left us for the popular crowd. What? You guys think I left you? I've invited y'all over countless times, but Shadow's the only one who ever actually comes over. Because he clearly has a crush on you. Janora! Shadow, you can head to game night with Milo and Janora. Just text me when you're ready to come over and I'll have Sheriff Ollie swing by and pick you up. If that's all right. Are you sure? Oh yeah, that'll give me enough time to get the rest of my homework finished up. So that's a no to joining us. Yeah, I'm sorry, Milo. I greatly appreciate the invite though. Yeah, whatever. Janora, stop. <laughs> what? Do you really think she's sorry for refusing to hang out with us again? You know what, Janora? I honestly treasure the time that I don't spend with you. Out of every pony in this group, you were the reason I left. Because no matter how nice I was to you, no matter how much I went out of my way for you, no matter what I did, you always drug me through the mud behind my back. I don't care if you're jealous of me. Lots of horses are. But I expected more from some pony I called my friend. <sighs> you're ridiculous, Janora. Turtle, wait! Shadow, please. I meant what I said. I know, I know, I... I just don't want this to change things. I said I would help you, and I'll do what I can for you and Milo, but I refuse to help some pony who treats me like how they treated my mother. I hope you can respect that. Just text me later. Are you gonna apologize for earlier? <laughs> Sorry. So it's funny to you then? No, just ironic. Ironic? That you pride yourself on loyalty, but you'd do anything for Turtle, even though she'd throw us away like we're trash. You have no idea what you're talking about. God, she really must be brainwashing you. And why were you too late to class together? You never answered that one earlier. So why don't you answer it now, since Turtle isn't here? Are you sleeping with her? What? What is wrong with you? It's a simple question, Shadow. Answer it. No, we didn't sleep together. And uh, why would you even care if we did? Jesus, Janora, you act like you're in love with me or something. Would you both just stop? God, I feel like this friend group is hanging on by a thread with everything going on. Can't you both just stop going at one another's throats?
Maybe we should have just canceled game night. I, I think we all just need something to take our minds off of the stress of what's happening. Please, can we please just finish this campaign? Please. Yeah, to the Garden of Anusa we go. After we snuck out of the back of the cloaked lion, we began a four-day trek to the Garden of the Noosa, a sacred garden where Maidon's beloved white mare was slain by the townsfolk in cold blood. Not many ponies visited, and for good reason. Many say Maidon still traverses the paths that lead here to protect his mare, but this is also where the horses of Eden vanished. Lucky for Sika, this trio of friends didn't exactly care about curses or old mare's tales. <laughs> <laughs> A tree. Darn! <laughs> okay, okay. I spy something blue. Me. How are you so good at this? Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. I spy something me. All right, that was a little freaky. You've been making us play I Spy for the past four hours. Well, excuse me for trying to make the road trip a little more exciting. Nalo could have just teleported us there and then we wouldn't have to be walking on hook the whole way. It's not my fault that magic has its limitations. I just hope we get there soon so we can figure out what bringing the onyx shield there is even gonna do. I have a theory that it has something to do with Zaspa. You think that this might be the key to bringing the horses of Eden back? Like I said, it's just a theory. With Zaspa on our team, we might actually stand a chance. Guys. Guys! What's up, bud? Do you hear that? I think some pony m might be following us. I think he might just be on edge, Rourke. Yeah, I guess so. Alton. I told y'all! <laughs> I guess you should know a little more about the horses you're traveling with. How did you find us? Kenza? You sold us out! <laughs> Pardon his appearance, I got sick of the little twerp running his mouth. I wouldn't get closer if I were you! I, I bite! I grab it! I Hey, get your hooves off me! Just, uh, what are you doing? Uh, get this off! Now, we could do this the easy way, and you three willingly come with me. Or, well, we can make it interesting. I'd crawl through the depths of hell before I willingly followed you. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. What's happening? Earthquake! We have to get downstairs! Is it over? I, I think so. Mom, are y'all okay downstairs? Grab 
them. What's happening? Run now, think later. Help me, please. Don't let them escape. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today to address a looming topic. Over the past five days, ten of the foals who call Sika home have gone missing without a trace of where they might have vanished to. Run, Milo! Take the Arnic Shield to the Garden of Venusa! It has come to my attention that fear over a horse of the past has grown tremendously during this time. The Kevlin King. I stand before you to say that this rumor holds no weight in the current situation and has been brought up to spread fear. <laughs> Due to the nature of the circumstances at Hoof, though, I've instilled a mandated curfew for all foals in hopes to terminate further disappearance cases. And while I understand it is not a popular decision, foals will remain in school during this time. It is important for forming minds to have some source of stability in times such as these. Sheriff Oli has been working day and night in order to find any clues as to where these missing colts and fillies have gone. Sam? We're doing everything in our power to find them and to bring them home. Why isn't the sheriff on the right now? Why is the sheriff on the right for questioning? We only have time for a few questions, so please, one at a time. Prime Minister Asher, has Sheriff Ollie found any leads on where the foals might have gone? I cannot comment on the sheriff's open case, but I can assure you he's investigating multiple promising leads. Prime Minister Asher, have the teachers at the school been investigated for misconduct? Every pony who's interacted with these foals has been investigated. Prime Minister Asher, is it true that a doctor was seen leaving your house this morning? Is everything alright? Should we be concerned? Is your health going to damper this case? <clears throat> That's all the time we have. You should be Why should Mr. Asher, we need to be concerned about this investigation. been looking for you. How, how did you end up here? Where, where even is here? Whatever, it, it doesn't matter. All that matters right now is that you're alive. Sam? How could you? Don't. What? What's going on? You didn't tell any pony? I've been stuck tied up for a week and you've kept your mouth shut?! Shadow? What is he talking about? Shadow's the reason I'm stuck here! He's the reason we're all stuck here! Is this... true? Shadow, is this true?